Hi everybody, today we're going to have a look at a solution to um, June 2019 paper 4.1 in the Cambridge 9608A2 level computer science syllabus. It's about a computer game and we're going to be designing the player class. Um, a few things to notice, um, the player class has three class variables, score, category and player ID and also there are seven methods, some of which no doubt we will be designing. All right, let's get stuck in. Uh, the constructor receives the parameter input player ID to create the player ID. The constructor receives the... so there's only one parameter in the constructor method. Let's do it. def underscore underscore in it underscore underscore self okay so there is one parameter in the constructor input player ID and to see how this works let's go back and have a look at the class diagram at the beginning of the question so these are the class variables score is set to zero Category is initialized to not qualified, and player ID is initialized to this thing here. Okay. Capital S, right? Score. Capital S. Do you see that? Capital S. Try and follow the naming of variables and methods. You will impress the examiner. So that's set to zero. Self dot underscore underscore category is set to not qualified. It's initialized to not qualified. And player ID is initialized to this parameter here. Input player ID. Player ID capital P capital I capital D. So that's my solution to the constructor method. Let's continue. Write program code for the following three get methods. So these are just get methods. Get score, get category, and get player ID. Let's just notice they start with capital G's, then the capital S, capital G, yes, capital ID. OK, so let's do that. They're all members of the player car class. Def get score return self dot underscore underscore capital S there yep score def get whoop capital G get category return self dot underscore underscore category capital C right yes notice I am making all of my class variables private it doesn't say that you have to do that by the way so um, you don't have to make them private if you don't want to I'm just doing it out of good practice return self dot underscore underscore capital P capital ID player I D. Brilliant. Okay, so those are my three get methods. Let's move on. Question three, method set player ID asks the user to input the new player ID. This is set player ID. Def set player ID. There are no parameters. It asks the user to input a new ID. Please input, I'm sorry, please input ID because it just says use suitable input or output messages it doesn't tell us what they should be that'll do in fact I'm creating a new variable here and I think in this level of computer science we have to create a comment to explain the data type of variables that we're using in our program I think we have to do that at A2 level now, what this method, uh, what this problem is saying is, it checks that the length of this thing is less than or equal to 15 and greater than or equal to 4. That's valid. If the input is valid, 
it sets this as the player ID. Otherwise, it loops until the player inputs a valid ID. So we're going to ask for some input, and now we're going to check that it's OK. So I'm, doing the, I'm going to use a classic validation check. While the length of this user input is less than 4, because that's not valid. That's not valid. Or the length of this thing, user input, is greater than 15. Both of these conditions are not valid. They're not valid. We're just going to keep asking. Sorry, buddy. We're just going to keep asking. Invalid entry. Try again. All right, so there's a classic validation check. And by the time we get to line 28, we've, it means we got out of the while loop, which means the user entered a valid new ID. So in that situation, we can update the player ID. What should I call it? Just very quickly, let's have a look. Self dot underscore underscore player capital I capital D. That's the one. Self dot underscore underscore capital P I D is equal to the new ID. So that's my solution to the set player ID method. Let's move on to number four. The method set score. Okay, we have a new player class method called set score. Checks that its integer parameter score input. It has a parameter called score input. Is valid. It checks that it's valid. So what does valid mean? A valid score input is greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to 150. If the score is valid, it sets the score, the class variable, and it returns true. So if score input, which is this parameter here, if this data is greater than or equal to zero, and score input is less than or equal to 150, we're going to update the object's score variable. And we're going to return true. Otherwise, what are we going to do? If the score input is not valid, it doesn't set the score, it displays an error message, and it returns false. Print error. Return false. And that is my solution to the player classes set score method moving on write program code for the method set category okay def set category are there any parameters use the properties and methods in the original class definition so properties means variable, and methods are functions or procedures. Wow, so I might be using some of those, really. Players will be placed in one of the following categories. Advanced, intermediate, beginner, not qualified. Oh, okay, so advanced score is greater than 120, greater than 80, less than or equal to 120. Okay, we'll come back to this in a minute. Yeah, right, now this is making sense because... We were told in the class diagram that a category can only be beginner, intermediate, advanced, or not qualified. So those are the four, four uh, available options. Beginner, intermediate, advanced, or not qualified. And we set the category by looking at the score. Okay. So, if self dot underscore score is greater than 120 then we're going to set it to be advanced self dot underscore underscore category will be assigned advanced 
LF. I'm just going to use LF. Uh, self dot unders underscore score is greater than 80 and less than or equal to hundred twenty uh, I've messed up my code here haven't I that should be part of that else if self dot score blah, 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 blah. Self dot category will be assigned intermediate. LF. Now we're going down to beginner. The score is greater than or equal to 50 and less than or equal to 80. Self dot score is uh, greater than or equal to 50 and self dot score is less than or equal to uh, 80 uh, self dot category is equal to beginner and the very final condition I'm just going to use else for the final condition self dot underscore underscore category is not qualified now I found in my solution that I didn't need to call any of the player classes methods I just directly accessed the score use the properties and methods in the original class definition because we're using Python I don't think we have to use methods we can just access the private variables I think that will work maybe in other programming languages you need to do something different but anyway that's my solution to the set category question let's move on Joanne has played the first game to place her in a category for the competition the procedure create player Wow so we're not in the player class anymore we're actually gonna make a computer program so let's get out of the player class and a computer program <clears throat> allows the player ID and score to be input with suitable prompts creates an instance of player with the identifier Joanne player sets the score sets the category and outputs the category write the program code for the create player procedure okay so def create player so this is a, a procedure um, allows the player ID and score to be input with suitable prompts so player ID I'm just going to call it PID equals input enter player ID and score which is an integer equals int input enter the score allows the player ID and score to be input creates a player with the identifier Joanna Joanne player so Joanne player equals player now what do we need again to construct a new player let's go to the constructor method just the player ID so that's all that's required and we have the player ID here it's PID so let's push that in as an argument sets the score for the object Joanne player dot set score it was capital S wasn't it let's just have a quick look at I think there was one set score it has one parameter so that must be this thing here called score set score score it sets the category for the object Joanne player dot set category I don't think there were any set category no parameters we just call just call it and that will update the category so update the score then update the category 
and then output the category of the object. 